Topics, development processes and the development industry, a role of NGOs, SHGs, various groups and associations, donors, charities, institutional and other stakeholders. Central Road and Infrastructure Fund CRIF. What to study for prelims. Features of Central Road and Infrastructure Fund CRIF. For main infrastructure funding in India. Potential constraints and solutions. Context. The administrative control of Central Road and Infrastructure Fund CRIF has been transferred to the Department of Economic Affairs, India Finance Ministry. So far, it was under the domain of Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Background. Over the last one and a half decades, the Central Road Fund CRF was a major revenue for the government to finance ambitious road projects. The CRF launched in 2000 is basically a set imposed along with excise duty on petrol and diesel. The set revenue was accrued to the CRF which was uniquely created and out of this major road projects were financed ever since its launch. Conversion of CRF into Central Road and Infrastructure Fund CRIF. So the budget 2018 has amended the Central Road Fund Act. 2000, and has renamed the Central Road Fund as Central Road and Infrastructure Fund CRIF. Main purpose of the amendment is to use the proceeds of the road sets under CRIF to finance other infrastructure projects including waterways, some portion of the railway infrastructure and even social infrastructure including education institutions, medical colleges, etc. The amendment prescribes that road sets is first credited to the Consolidated Fund of India and later after adjusting for the cost of tax collection, should go to the CRIF. As per the amendment, the share for each infrastructure areas and projects from the CRIF shall be finalized by a committee, constituted by the central government. The committee will be headed by the finance minister. Sources, the Hindu, Basant and RC explained. What to study? For prelims, particulars of NRC. For main, update of NRC. Issues associated including ethical concerns. Context. The draft National Register of Citizens and RC published recently includes only those able to prove they were in Assam before 1971. It excludes D. Voters. Who is a D. Voter? Short for dubious or doubtful. This is a category of voters disenfranchised by the government for alleged lack of proper citizenship documents. Some 2.48 lakh people got the D-voter tag during an RC process. Who is a declared foreigner? D-voters are tried by special tribunals under the Foreigners Act, and if they fail to defend their citizenship claim, they are marked as declared foreigners and sent to any of six detention camps, which are within jails for criminals, for deportation. There were 91,206 declared foreigners as on December 31, 2017, why is NRC being updated in Assam? Officially, the NRC process will address the issue of illegal migrants, specifically from Bangladesh. The National Register of Citizens was first published in 1951 to record citizens, their houses and holdings. Updating the NRC to root out foreigners was of demand during the Assam agitation 1979 to 1985. Why is March 24, 1971 the cutoff date? There have been several waves of migration to Assam from Bangladesh, but the biggest was in March 1971 when the Pakistan army crackdown forced many to flee to India. The Assam Accord of 1985 that ended the six-year anti-foreigners agitation decided upon the midnight of March 24, 1971 as the cutoff date. Who is a citizen in Assam? The Citizenship Act of 1955 was amended after the Assam Accord for all Indian origin people who came from Bangladesh before January 1, 1966 to be deemed as citizens. Those who came between January 1, 1966 and March 25, 1971 were eligible for citizenship after registering and living in the state for 10 years while those entering after March 25, 1971 were to be deported. What happens to the excluded 40 lakh? They will have to file for claims and objections and submit relevant documents for re-verification. The NRC office will issue claim forms from August 7 to 30, and these applicants will have to submit the forms from August 30 to September 28. The documents will be verified and accepted or rejected for the final NRC to be published on an unspecified date. The cases of those left out of the final NRC will be heard in the foreigners' tribunals, after which applicants can approach the High Court. Sources, 
The Hindu Paper 3 Topic Science and Technology Development and their applications and effects in everyday life achievements of Indians in science and technology, indigenization of technology and developing new technology. Deep Ocean Mission BLM. What to study for prelims. Polymetallic nodules, features of deep sea mission, Isaiah. For main, significant and relevance of such missions, usefulness for India's energy security. Context. Ministry of Earth Sciences plans SARS 8000 core deep ocean mission to boost India's sea exploration capabilities. The mission proposes to explore the deep ocean similar to the space exploration started by ISRO about 35 years ago. Features of the mission The focus of the mission will be on deep sea mining, ocean climate change advisory services, underwater vehicles and underwater robotics related technologies. Two key projects planned in the Deep Ocean Mission Report include a desalination plant powered by tidal energy and a submersible vehicle that can explore depths of at least 6,000 meters. Significance of the mission The Deep Ocean Mission Plan will enable India to develop capabilities to exploit resources in the Central Indian Ocean Basin CILP. India has been allotted 75,000 square kilometers in the Central Indian Ocean Basin CILP by an International Seabed Authority for exploration of polymetallic nodules. CIOB reserves contain deposits of metals like iron, manganese, nickel and cobalt. Potential. It is envisaged that 10% of recovery of that large reserve can meet the energy requirement of India for the next 100 years. It has been estimated that 380 million metric tons of polymetallic nodules are available at the bottom of the seas in the central Indian Ocean. What are PMPM? Polymetallic nodules, also known as manganese nodules, are potato-shaped, largely porous nodules found in abundance carpeting the sea floor of world oceans in deep sea. Besides manganese and iron, they contain nickel, copper, cobalt, lead, molybdenum, cadmium, vanadium, titanium, of which nickel, cobalt, and copper are considered to be of economic and strategic importance. About ISAO, International Seabed Authority ISAO is the unbody set up to regulate the exploration and exploitation of marine non-living resources of oceans in international waters. India actively contributes to the work of International Seabed Authority. Last year, India was re-elected as a member of Council of ISAO. India's nominees on Legal and Technical Commission and Finance Committee of the IAO.